Sure. It's, it's I, too I, short I, already. <laughs> Can't be any worse than my coat. Here. So it's more sprinting today. Is it? I, I think from from the point oh, yeah. of some spectacular speedy sprinting. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, All right, we're out. Three others. Yeah. What maps are you using? Are these your homebrew maps, Joe? They are not. I've nicked them from the um, WordPress site. Okay, fair. So who knows what we're getting? How good at running are you, Joe? Uh, I'm not bad. What's like um, a good, like a 5k time? Is that a thing that we're in tears talking about? What's a 5k time? I run 1731. Ah, see, that is good. Yeah, it's alright. How old are you? Being very humble. Just turned 18. Oh. Come on, man! You're quick. you can run quicker than that. And um, what's your eight hundred time? That's the real question. Uh, that is two twenty four in like three years ago. Shocking. That's <laughs> shocking, man. What can you do, Craig? Two or two. All right. I could probably do that now. Yeah. What's your four hundred time? Um, like sixty four, and I was on the JK relay. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> <laughs> why, is, why is your time from orienteering racing? <laughs> I love well, it. Driver claim. It's the most orienteering thing I've ever heard. Love to see. Right, alright, let's do the first race. Wait, are you even streaming right now? Yeah, yeah. Been doing it for like two or three minutes. Oh, you've you've just been live streaming me slamming Joe. I'm sorry, yeah. Joe, I think I'll back. <laughs> <laughs> the reason I'm asking. Right, is because you're incredible at catching features. So your brain can clearly think at like a million miles an hour. So now you just need to get quick in the running and then you'll be like the world's best sprint orienteer. Well, it's definitely what I'm trying to do. Yeah, good. Like genuinely, your brain is so quick. Oh, Martin. Why is Martin not in the call? Anyway, Jamie, let's go. Right, so. Uh, we've got some spectacular speedy sprinting for you today, and uh, we have a, a few competitors, some that we've seen before, I think all that we've seen before in fact, so it's heating up to be a great race. Oh, wait, we're missing, we're missing a bunch of Danes, are we not? Have we expected everyone from last time? Mouth mm. is, um... No, yeah, he's having a problem with his uh, maps. Just a re-downloading every time he hits hundred percent, so he's trying to change network and maybe reinstall CF. Yeah. Okay. Your we'll, issues. We'll we'll just go on without him. He can maybe join in part yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think so. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, sorry, Jamie, I interrupted you. Go again. <laughs> uh, so after after last week, we obviously have the favourite in Joe. And I'm not the, running this week. I'm just updating. No. Oh, okay. Okay, so we have a bit of a switch up in the in the standings there. So I remember um, Paulson did good last week. Uh, Rune yeah. was in there. Um, uh, so I've got to join as a spectator. Wait. Uh, and so was Robbie was in the mix sometimes as well. Good uh, stance yeah. from Robbie. Stints, yeah, he had, he had stints where he was right up. So, wait, he struggled to sort of sustain it. So, maybe we'll see something different from him today. Yeah, definitely. Um, good to see, good to see uh, Rune back. Big, big fan of Rune. I'm his, I'm his biggest fan. Um, a lot of fan, aren't you? I, I hope he's listening. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I think Joe should run. I think Joe should just give himself a five minute handicap. Just everyone run away for a bit and then... I can if you want. Yeah, do it. <laughs> okay. Do it. <laughs> um, are we starting? Do you want to go, Joe? Yeah, I can do it. Let's go. Um, but yeah, I think it's it's going to be between Mouth and, and Rune for this one, surely. Mouth the Bolson. It's a great name. I'm just like saying your name. Um, sorry, I'm being really weird today, I don't know why. <laughs> um, yeah, I think I think the fight is going to be between Paulson and Rune today, but, I mean, you were right. Um, 
probably was tuned last week. So, so. They're, they're up and... Obviously also joined by Megan Carter Davis from last week. Who's confused soon and, and Martin as well. Martin. Yeah. And, and obviously Chris Miller. Robbie yeah. goes through the second control. He may have got himself a bit of a lead there if he can find his way down to the third or right, but it looks like Paulson's come past him there. Oh, getting stuck on the crag though, that'll slow him down. Yeah, yeah Paulson, I mean, everybody's making a mess of the second control. Yeah, it's, it's there, in there, and so we got Martin, Martin in third place. Probably in Paulson out in the front. He's getting around the huge rock. I think Rune has got stage three. They can get in the second control. Oh dear, I got stuck. I'm stuck then, yeah. Oh, every. Chris Miller having a mare as per usual. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we've got Robbie Lightfoot and Malta Bolton out in front at the moment. Uh, it's looking Robbie, like Robbie can stick with him. It's looking like quite a good race for him. Yeah, he is just, losing, just, just slowly getting further and further away, probably out of sight again. No, he, well, he's... Oh, maybe, yeah. Yeah, he will, he will be outside here. In third place, Martin. So, not a favourite going into it, but it looks like he's been doing alright. And here's Rune coming past him. Rune showing, showing why he's got so many fans. <laughs> Robbie struggling to find his way out of number six. But he's just about got it. And Paulson already going up into seven, so Paulson with a big lead here. After Robbie struggled to find his way out of six, but he's still in second after a, a very good first few first few controls. And third place is Rune. He's slowly climbing. He can probably he's coming past Robbie here, going along the path, whereas Robbie is choosing to go through the terrain, which is looking to be slower at the moment. Yeah, well, this is one of the insights that um, the great color gave to us last time during the um, the, the world champs. He was saying that actually the steepness of the hill doesn't really affect your running unless the hill is super steep, like a, a medium steep and a, a kind of like less medium steep hill. It kind of is the same running speed. Mm, he really so, knows. Um, Rune really taking advantage of the path for as long as he could, and then cutting up. I think worked worked well there. And, yeah. His, just snuck in front of, uh, snuck in front of Robbie. Paulson with a big lead now. Yeah, big. very strong. Just... Where is Joe Sunley? Slowly cutting his way through the pack. He gave Joe oh, yeah. a handicap because um, he planned the courses. <laughs> you know, he has almost caught up with Rune and Robbie. He's though. not far behind Rune and Robbie. <laughs> Love to see it. I can't imagine he stopped yet. <laughs> yeah, that was. Uh, Pretty unusual sight to see last time. Yeah. I was there. And I only once or twice. <laughs> Will he remember? Will he catch it? What are you thinking? Sorry? Will do you reckon he'll catch Paulson? Because at the moment he's at number uh, 40, he's just come out 14 there. <laughs> he is now in second place, but Paulson is a long way in front. I mean, I can't see him closing the gap. And th these last few look relatively easy. Basically, it's along a straight line here. I'm watching a slideshow right now. <laughs> My computer's gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> oh, life with technical errors at the moment. <laughs> um, Keep me up to date, Robbie. What's going on? Paulson coming into the uh, last control. What's happening back there? So Rune still still in front of Joe. Yeah, did they switch places again? I think they flipped they flopped. Them. Uh yeah. So, did yeah, they, they make a mistake? I can't imagine it. Live through Rune the course, the route. We go to Joe Sunley. Joe Sunley, tell me, what happened? Came out a bit too early and got a bit confused, but I'm back on now. 
Yeah, I think Rune has taken uh, not a brilliant route round to 15 here. Going right the way round. And it looks like... Oh, no, no. Just suddenly back in, in second. In second place, and Paulson taking the win there. Joe in second after a, a five-minute gap. Was it five minutes? Yeah. Yeah. It's also a bit unfair. I knew a sneaky route to 15. <laughs> I think... Hey. All, all's fair. <laughs> um, Paulson, how does it feel, your first win? Yeah, it was uh, it was nice. Uh, we played some multiplayer a few days ago where we played this map, so... Uh, yeah, I'll remember the, the tricky oh, parts. <laughs> there was a, a memory advantage there. Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. So, so, both first and second already, like, uh, just knowing... Knowing the sneaky, the sneaky spots. Tell me, Chris, what are we looking at right now? It's just me. Yeah, what are we looking at? Are we just watching you? Yeah, basically, because I made a complete mare of it. Has everyone else finished yet? Uh, no, I think uh, Megan is also having a bit of trouble. It's the night, the night control right now. Uh, so, the stream there was uh, just following Chris. Yeah. That's what I was saying, some technical problems, so I only had one computer. But I'll get the next I'll get it all set up properly for the next race. Okay. So, uh, after that race, it ended up Paulson winning in a time of 18.06. Joe coming through with a five minute gap and finishing in 21.06. And yeah. R Rune in third, Robbie in fourth, just about how we predicted. Uh, yeah, Joe, Joe did close the gap, but only only by a couple of minutes on Pulsing. Didn't manage to uh, get the full. Um, I had to disconnect also because my computer died. Um, <laughs> I'm back in, but I can't see anything, so <laughs> I can't talk. Oh my word, this has been a bad one. It's been... Many technical it's been, difficulties. Yeah, so many technical difficulties. Just iron, ironing out all the creases, you know? That's yeah. why we're doing these. Yeah. Is, is Cola joining us today? Um, I think he said he was busy. Oh no, probably making maps. <laughs> probably gonna come out, uh, log on after and watch the stream and be like, oh my word, it was a shambles this week. It really did, yeah. <laughs> so disappointing. Yeah. <laughs> but no, a good first race. Um, nice technical little course. Is there, is there a next race on this area as well? No, we've got four different areas. The next wow. three are all uh, town. Oh, okay. spicy. Following well, the same, uh, uh, what's it called? Format as last week. One for a sprint, three times sprint. Yeah. Love it. Let's make it a one. staple. <laughs> Everyone loves a forest sprint. I think that's both of us. <laughs> How are you doing, Chris? Uh, yeah, give me two minutes and I'll get it set up properly. Talk me through what you're thinking right now. Oh. What do you mean? <laughs> I thought you were still running. I no, I know, I quit. <laughs> I didn't think you would want to wait that long. <laughs> Isn't this so that you can practice your sprint orienting? Uh, yeah, basically. Are you feeling the high pressure right now? Well, yeah, because I was live streaming myself, so... Hell <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> How stressful is it trying to operate a stream and also play a game? Uh, yeah, but maybe that's good practice. Yeah, multitasking. Yeah. Multitasking. But I'm failing at the moment, so... <laughs> it's probably not when such you... a good thing. Oh, you just disconnected as well. Um, uh, yeah, I'm just trying to... When he goes back to uh, normal or interior, he'll have so much less to think about. It'd be great. Just keep having <laughs> along, being like, what's... Yeah, I was out or interior today, actually, in an yeah. area you might know, Craig. Airskin. Uh, no, it was uh, oh, okay. 
Yeah. So I'm just messing around with some. Um, berries now. It's, uh, I don't know, maybe 40 minutes from you. Sorry, what did you say? Berries no, near other foil. Oh, fair enough. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm not saying it right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that's how you say it, that's just how I say it. Um, I recognise the name, but I can't picture it. Oh, wait, no, I do know where it is. It's just south of Aberfoyle. Yeah. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's a good one. There was um, one of the last orientation races I did was there. Going back many years. <laughs> <laughs> You've semi-retired, haven't you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. You know, I peaked. Uh, <laughs> peaked at 18 and then quit. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, sloppy Joe's in. Right. Yeah. Here we go. This time. I'm not ready yet. Yeah, I know. I'm just going to go through the lineup. Right. We have uh, Joseph of Sunley. Representing Great Britain. Representing Great Britain. Everyone knows his name. He's a household name in, uh, in British orienteering homes nowadays. He has never been beaten. Undefeated. Champion of the world. Joe Sunley. Not actually champion of the world, but one day. He can't be beaten. Unfortunate. <laughs> I've heard people um, have shrines. Sorry? I, I've heard people have Joe Sunley shrines. They worship. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. He is. I, I've, I've also heard that, that there are many households with, with Joe Sunley shrines, this being one of them. Um, I, mean, I, I have a picture of colour on my wall. <laughs> but... um, also, in today's race, we have Malthy Paulson. Just an absolute staple of uh, all the lockdown orienteering events and also these fun little um, pickup games that we've been doing. Uh, you just saw him win the last race. Great competitor. Going to be doing well in this sprint. Uh, then Robbie Lightfoot. The youngster. The, <laughs> rising, the rising star. The young blood in the group. Um, always starts well. That's honestly, I'm telling you. First two or three controls, that boy is on it. He is switched on, but he just, just lacking a little inconsistency, you know, just his discipline is slipping ever so slightly. Just needs to hold on to it. And yeah, great, great work from him. Then we have Martin, uh, just another great competitor coming out of SYO. The SYO boys are always good, you know. You yeah. just, you just got to rate them. They get, they we get, they, breed, they, we breed catching features players. They put the hours in. That's what I'm, yeah. I'm telling you. Jamie, they put I was the supposed to in. number one last time. <laughs> and then it <laughs> went wrong. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. Um, we, have, we have everything like veterans from Nick Lightfoot to youngsters like Anna Todd and Robbie Lightfoot. Oh, my word. Anna Todd is, honestly, is I think she is the best female catch and features player. I'm putting it out there. It's between yeah. her and um, I think that, oh, what's her name? Uh, Laura Robertson from uh, Ezoc. I think she would give her a run for her money, but honestly, the two of them, I would watch that race every day once, of the week. Once Anna gets her flow, there is no stopping her. Yeah, definitely. And um, but got, Megan Carter Davis, pretty good, got, pretty good female uh, athlete. Yeah, she's in here. We got Rune de Klerk, Rune, all the way from Belgium. He's, he's consistently good every time. I haven't seen him have a, have a huge mess up ever, really. Yeah, Rune, so, he's just always he's there or thereabouts. Never anything, yeah. never anything like spectacular, but also he's, his moment, though. he's he's reliable, you know, and that's what you that's what you want sometimes. Sometimes you just need a good, safe pair of hands. One uh, day then, we will see a stroke of brilliance, though. I'm oh, yeah, I'm waiting for it. And then finally, we've got everyone's favorite, Chris Smithard. He's the underdog, he's the <laughs> one everyone's rooting for. It's all <laughs> thanks to him that we're here, and uh, yeah, love love it. Hopefully, he will not make a big mess of the very first control this time round and maybe you can actually stay in the pack for more than two controls but we will see hopefully go get him Chris <laughs> right let's go oh, alright let's go okay <laughs> sorry were you waiting on me to stop rambling on <laughs> so cool. housing estate it seems is it I have no idea uh, I actually have no idea. So oh, okay. Looks like a more town. A foreign town. 
So here we go. Ah, okay. Into the first control. Melf Thompson in the lead, but Robbie Lightfoot and Rudy Clegg also in there. I mean, everyone's close. They've, yeah, they formed their regular pack. <laughs> of out of control. Exactly what we like to see. Yeah. Joe Sunday obviously well, giving everyone a five minute head start. Uh, very Barrett. gracious of him. And there it is, Paulson getting it right. Yeah. We're getting a bit tricked. Robbie getting tricked by it. I think he thought he had it. And so he's going off to number three. So it's Paulson and Rune, Rune out in front. A big gap to the rest of the field. Yeah. Like to see Megan Carter Davis doing well, you know, keeping her head, looking out for those uncrossable walls. Uh, she's she's benefited from everyone else's mistakes there. There yeah, it always. will just be about did you get it or did you not get it? And yeah, that's exactly. what's looking up here. Robbie's um, Robbie's kind of uh, just away with the fairies, <laughs> you might say. He's well, a little bit of hesitation there from Paulson. There, it's throwing off quite a bit. Hesitation from Paulson, but still stays in front. Um, well, actually, I think it was then hesitation from Rune out of the control, so they flip flopped a little bit there. Um, but yeah, Paulson and Rune just shoulder to shoulder. Um, <laughs> Robbie Lightfoot. Is and he following? Just... He's had a mare. He has had a mare. And that is Joe. Joe's what is Joe that. up to? Where is he going? That Joe's is a funky two. route to number a, two. Taking a controversial route. Quite quirky, that. <laughs> quirky route to number two. Um, Paulson and Rune taking different routes. Uh, Paulson, it like looks Paulson's more. It looks better. One, yeah. yeah, it definitely looks going straighter. And he's going to. Unnecessary distance there from Rune. Yeah, definitely. Paulson stretching out his lead. Megan Carter Davis still in third, doing well. And yeah, Megan Miller in fourth. Yeah. You love to see it. Everyone, everyone's favourite. You know, everyone likes to root for the underdog. I want yeah. to see Chris do well. I like, want to see him succeed. Like Rocky and like Rocky 2. Exactly. Rocky 3 as well. <laughs> oh, tricky control and coming up here. Making it look easy there, but oh. will he get out with the control the right way? You've got to, it's got a tricky run here. You've got to go round. Yeah, look at that. They, they planned ahead. They knew where they were going. But is that Chris Smithard right on their tail? Oh yeah, my word. They the, the 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 gap back somewhat. Again. Could we be on for a, a Chris Smithard podium? And Robbie has managed to recover there a bit. So oh, yeah? Has he found number two? He uh, he, found he's found number, number six. Oh, my word. He has been caught by Joe. Yeah, he has. Joe, a Joe long is... way behind on this one. I don't know if he's going to catch up. I think the five-minute <laughs> handicap might be a little bit too big. <laughs> Slightly easier legs here, making it harder for him to catch up. Yeah. Because even Paulson has a big Paulson lead now. When Joe's racing, everyone does oh, the same speed. I take it back. He doesn't have a big lead. Rune took a completely different route choice, and I didn't even see him on the map. And he's come out of nowhere, and the, his lead has shrunk. Oh yeah. It's the exact opposite. It is getting really close now at the front. Um, one little wobble, and it could be all over. Chris Smithard and Meg, Megan Carter Davis, also taking the two alternate routes. Chris on the slower one, Megan on the quicker one. Uh, Chris won't like to hear that. <laughs> and, uh, those two are, yeah, right on top of each other as well. So it's very close for first and second, very close for third and fourth. Martin in fifth, a good way back, and Joe hot on his heels, hunting him down. I can't see Joe catching up, though. These two at the front, Paulson and Rune, are very far ahead. Yeah, Paulson uh, going into number 12. Yeah, now heading into a really tight, twisty section. Got to keep in contact with the map got to know exactly where you're going the route choice isn't that difficult but it's just change in direction change in direction change in direction got to keep on top of it and they don't stop i i find mm -hmm. it i struggle to see how they can look at their map and turn like that at the same time it baffles me this is going around shortening the lead even more oh, oh this could be it oh, oh, this could be tight it's really close. Oh, oh Rune. Little, little mistake from Rune. Just messing, messing up there. <laughs> also not having very much fun on these balls. That was a tricky last control. Now yeah. let's quickly... Paulson takes the win. Rune de Klerk must come in on second. Well, Megan yeah. Carter Davis has got in front of uh, Chris Smith out though. He's really messed up in this twisty <laughs> section. Just lost his way a little bit. 
and it looks like Megan is going to storm ahead. Chris can feel the podium slipping through his Megan's, fingers. Megan's lead is expanding like a sponge in a bubble bath. Oh, my word. <laughs> oh, the disappointment must be overwhelming for Chris Miller right now. He just needs to keep <laughs> his head because Joe Sunley is hot on his heels now. Joe yeah. Sunley is going to come through and he's not even going to get fourth. If he was Mexican, I'd give him the, I'd give him the nickname Speedy Gonzalez. <laughs> But he's not, so I won't. And Chris Millard tucked in behind Joe Sunley. I think he's going to follow him all the way to the end. Yeah. Maybe. Megan is not having a good time on this last control. She might lose it here. No, she's not. That's she's fine. Right. She's she's kept ahead. She's managed to sort it out. Honestly, it was lucky that, that Chris made those big mistakes because Megan did not have a very clean last control. This last control tripping up a lot of people. Yeah, so it was looking really tight going into number 16, but um, for the lead, that is. But Paulson managed to get it, and Rune spent a bit of time messing around there. And Megan coming in with a podium, I think that is uh, that's a great result for her. Yeah, it is. Is it her first podium? I think it might be. That's definitely her best performance. Um, of the of of this series so far, and Chris Millard still hasn't finished. I'm thinking it right now, it is. He's just running back and forward in front of the gap. Can this man catch a break? And here that comes Martin. Right Martin's the in the flow. The Chris has completely lost his way. Martin has the flow. Yeah. Who's going to win this? Is Chris going to finish sixth? Surely not, but he's in the middle of making that. more mistakes. <laughs> Martin corrects it first. Chris just... Chris still trying to go through that. And Martin is in front. But Chris... Martin... Really... Chris has called this sneaky could be very route. close. Chris takes the sneaky route. Oh, Martin takes close. the safe route. And they both what mess they it doing? up. Martin gets <laughs> the control. He's done it. Martin has taken it. Oh my word, Chris had it all in the all oh, in third place, he's coming into the last technical section and he's thrown it all away. Oh, messed it up on 13. Third. Now he's in sick. An absolute calamity from Christopher Smithard. <laughs> <laughs> and uh. honestly, it's lucky he didn't get beat by Robbie. Yeah. Because here he comes, <laughs> not even that far behind. After after a mistake at the beginning, he he's managed to get back on track. He didn't completely lose his head. He might have when he was going to the control, but oh my word, that was a good one. That was a really good one. Yeah, Thank you very much, good. Joe. You put on a show for us today. Got a choice next. Um, we are going to Venice. Do oh, you yeah. want a control picky, so harder to get lost, but decent bit of a choice, or a full on sprint with a couple of long legs? Control pick. Every time. Okay. <laughs> that's um, just my. I just love control fit. So for Venice, I I've I have oriented in Venice. Yeah. Um, there's a lot of homeless people. <laughs> <laughs> uh yeah, okay. and there were loads and loads of tourists when I was there, and the streets are very narrow. And yeah. Get down sometimes. Well, I wonder if we're going to have the same issue. packed in this one. There are quite a few people out in Venice today. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah, it's a, it's a very tricky place to run uh, our engineering, also in real life. It's uh, it's tricky. Oh, my word. We have so many experienced orienteers in here. Well-travelled. Tell me, Mel, what is your... Um, now that you know it's Venice, what is your uh, like mindset going into this race? What are you going to try and do? Um, because it's uh, a lot of small control, uh, small legs and a lot of controls, then it just try to keep focused on the next leg and yeah, just be faster in the execution. Mm. If what it was the longer thing, legs. Uh, what sort of thing throws your focus off, do you think? Um, uh, do you it's find having a commentator in your ear all the time through you? Uh, yeah, it's a uh, it's a little bit stressing actually, but it's uh, <laughs> it's it's nice. So good training. <laughs> well, when I, when, I I was at, when I was there, the main thing throwing me off was the sweet sweet smell of pizza. 
<laughs> wafting from the from the restaurants. Wow. And also, everything looks the same. So once you get lost, it is quite difficult to relocate. Yeah, and that's just aggravating. Yeah, when I was in the Venice and Renda, we ran a night sprint and a long night sprint, so it was like 45 minutes uh, winning time. It was uh, it was tricky and really, really, uh, it was an, uh, a nice experience. <laughs> wow. Well, I'm excited. Everyone's loaded in. So, let's go. I'm expecting yes. some mistakes here. Well, yeah, I think uh, Paulson definitely favorite coming into this. Uh, Rune gave him a good run for his money that time though, so um, we can see if, if he can double down. I mean, Rune, like we've been saying, always consistent, so yeah. you know, control pick. Step up here and... Yeah. And I really want to, really, really looking for Rune to, to, to bring it, bring oh, it this race. Ah, mm. oh, he'd tell you. <laughs> <laughs> so, let's watch Paulson again. Chris, if you could watch Paulson, that would be good. Have done. Thank you. And they're so off. Here we go. Weaving through the crowd. Into the first control. And guess who's in front? It's Martin. It's uh, Martin. <laughs> it is also Paulson. I would not have guessed that. <laughs> yeah. Oh my word, they're splitting off. Already a mistake from Paulson. No, I don't Paul, think, so. it I was think the, that was the right route from Paulson. It was the right route. Look at me. Already a mistake from Craig. Um, oh man, this is a really tight group. I already love it. I hope that they stick together for this whole race. Um, obviously, as we've heard, the twisty streets of Venice. Um, we'll see how, how things go. Um, it's very busy out there in Venice today. It is. It is. So many people. Some looking identical. Again, another good start from Robbie. Um, I mean, everyone's had a good start. They're all very close, except from Chris, who is <laughs> all over the place. Um, just stay with the pack for a bit, Chris. Come on, you can do this. Um, uh, Robbie dropping away a little bit there. I think that's more just... Um, that's the, more just Paulson going off in the lead. I think it's it's more like the, the actual um, what? Uh, playing the game as opposed to... Uh, so Rune oh, and Robbie getting caught out there. Yeah, a little mistake from Rune going too far, and here comes Joe Sunley on his way to number two. So we have Paulson getting a little bit of a gap to Rune, and then Robbie in behind, and then Megan, Megan in fourth, trying to follow up from her podium in the last race. Can she get a podium again today? I think it'll be tough for her to beat Robbie. Um, definitely had uh, had a, a, a pretty off off race last yeah, race. Yeah, it was so, uncharacteristically um, slow. Yeah, he'll be looking to bounce back from that. He will. He'll be looking for revenge. <laughs> and yeah, Paulson just clinical. Um, I'm not convinced it was the shortest route to number eight, but it was definitely the least. Uh, I would have gone brain. around the top to number eight. Although, a little bit of hesitation there into number nine. Yeah, can Rune close him down? Ah, uh, yeah, and he's mm -hmm. messing up around here. Going out of eight, meaning Rune. A lot of hesitation out of eight, and Rune is hot on his heels again. Yeah. His his lead has evaporated in an instant. But here we go, back into the flow. He's not letting it get to him. Or is he? Oh my word. He has been shaken. He is rocking in his boots. Rune Leclerc right on his heels. Who's got the control flow? It looks like Rune is in the groove, and Paulson is all oh, over no. the place. And as I say that, Rune has a little pause and a little route choice out there. Uh, yeah, it looks like Paulson's got the quicker route here, going to 11. Yeah, definitely. I think Rune realised he had made his mistake, but once he had... Um... carried on with it. In sprints, sometimes you do. You've got to commit. Yeah, I think... You know you're going the wrong way. You have to commit, because it'll you'll lose more time turning yeah, back. absolutely. He would have lost more time from where he realised he had gone wrong. He's right back up with him now. And he can yeah. probably get a better route than where... No. I wouldn't have taken that I route. Would not, I, I would not have taken that route. I was, I was just <laughs> saying, you could probably get a better route than Paulson out of there, and he hasn't. Yeah, I think um, a lot of the time as well, when you see the runner in front of you go, taking a route, it's very easy to just be like, okay, I'm just going to go that way. Because you know you're not going to lose any more time if you take the same route. But so he's in second place. He needs back, to take back some in the risks. huge pack, we have a big, big pack here. So uh, out in front is Robbie and Megan. 
Then yeah, Megan's still in third place, there. though. The Speed Demon, Martin, and also, yeah, um, right into the front. It's looking oh, tight here. Yeah, they are still neck and neck. Rune not really taking the lead very much, though, so I wonder how Rune much Nav he's actually doing. I don't. I don't like throwing shade on people saying that they're following, but you know, really gonna need he's gonna need to find some time somewhere if he wants to win this race. Yeah, I think maybe choosing to hold back just because he is getting a nice ride with Paulson. Yeah, and definitely. Paulson may be unable to get away from him. Although the gap is opening here. Whoa, little wall from Paulson. Tricky little turns. Yeah. I mean this is not only te testing your technical ability, but it's also testing like the actual mechanical ability to play the game to do these corners quickly not get stuck in the buildings and we see another mistake coming from rune just missing the opening um yeah this lead is growing again this, but this is where paulson will really want to uh put the pedal to the metal yeah definitely um, and escape really... from rune because at the moment rune he can't seem to, he can't seem to shake rune but yeah in my I think belief. he Paulson maybe a little bit flustered in the middle, lost his groove a bit, allowed Rune to, to get into his head, close yeah. the gap, but he is maybe back. He's in control. Rune's around him, he he's is not used to that. In the flow once more. And in third place we've got the it's Joe Sunley. Joe Sunley. Oh here we go, coming into the last control. Paulson with a big lead now. Even he's though he's making mistakes. Not he's the got quickest time to going into it there, but He's, he's got it. Yeah, with time to spare, Paulson taking the win once again. Being a Very really good competitor really. this time, Rune. Rune taking, <laughs> taking a funky route. Rune had a, a great race, but really just couldn't keep the concentration all the way to the end. And look how close Joe Sunling is. After yeah. giving him a five-minute head start, he's only one control behind. You can see on these, on these trickier races, Joe is managing to make up more time as everyone else is making mistakes, and he just doesn't. Yeah, he just he's always, always in the zone. Although that route choice for number twenty, I'm not convinced. Yeah, I would have gone around the top. There's a few yeah. route choices here that I've seen that I would have taken differently. Questionable. Although it's very easy to say that out here when you can see the map at all times. You know, it's a different thing when you're actually in the race. But Joe suddenly takes third. I think Megan might have had a little bit of a mare somewhere. Oh no, yeah, she is still in this group. She's just fallen to the back of the group. Robbie Lightfoot, as we would probably have expected, is um. He's doing better, although, where is he off to? I think he's missed his turn. Oh my word, this could be it. No, Can I Chris don't think so. get a fourth place? He's Chris Smithard and, and Megan. <laughs> oh, what wait. is Megan doing? Oh, Megan's still doing for 18. Chris Smithard, can he sort out the route choice? He's taking a long pause there. <laughs> Obviously not, um, I think not he's planning better. ahead. Yeah, he's found his way, Robbie has. Yeah, Robbie's found his way. And Martin... Taking the route, I would have gone around the top. Maybe oh it was the commentary. Chris getting really stuck in the uh, <laughs> knowing which path is the right path. Yeah. You've got to count your junctions, Chris. I think I got the right one. <laughs> I think you did get the right one. Martin hot on his heels. So Robbie went to fourth there. Robbie in fourth, but decent race for him, better than last time. It's so. going to be close for fifth. It's again, it's Chris and Martin again. On the last control, who can keep their head on the last control? It's gonna be one of them is gonna come in disappointed here, and it looks like this time round it's gonna be Martin, Chris, Chris, navigating the people in the square, and there he goes into fifth place. Martin in sixth, and Megan, after the highs of getting the podium last race, finishing seventh. I think she'll be guided because she was, you know, she was right up there, just a couple of wobbles right at the end. But to keep your concentration all the way through, that's the thing. And yeah, everyone everyone doing a lot better today, I think, than last week. I don't know if there's been some practice, but everyone seems to be finishing a lot closer together. Mainly because Joe's getting a getting <laughs> a, 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 a handicap. But Joe also planned the courses, so you know. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, Paulson with three out of three so far, I think. If oh I'm... my word, are we doing another chasing? Chasing start, Joe. I don't know. Oh, the plan? This one can be done as one, yeah. Okay. Yeah, let's do a chase if we can. Yeah? Okay. So, we're just going to do exactly the same format as last time. Uh, 
going on 30 seconds, except Joe, obviously, who um, <laughs> is going, uh, Get going off. Three minutes this time. So we'll go, Megan is on zero, zero, zero. Um, and then... Surely I should be on zero, zero, zero. Nah, I don't <laughs> think so. Um, We're looking at results from last race. <laughs> we're just looking at general feel. Uh, yeah. And then we go Martin on what was it? One minute. Um then Robbie. Robbie. On one minute thirty. Uh and then Rune. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. On two minutes. 20 minutes apparently. Uh, on 2 minutes 30. And then. Um, the Beast. Joe. <laughs> so uh, he closed down about 3 minutes on. Yeah, I think just give him a. Let him start at 2 30 after me. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so not 20 minutes. <laughs> yeah. um, so yeah. let's go. Should I go 3 30? I'll. Oh. No, can you go off 4.30? 4.30, okay. Yeah. 4.30? It's harsh. Yeah. <laughs> but you got to push him. Trick. You, know? you have to push him. I, I think you can close down two minutes on Colson. I, I definitely think he can. Yeah. He closed down almost five minutes on them in the last race. Yeah. He's just trying to tug at our heartstrings, you know, make us feel sorry. Oh, poor Joe. He's so good at the, the game. I think on the, the first and the the third run, uh, Joe was exactly two minutes. Uh, oh, he beat my time with exactly two minutes. So yeah. I think, uh, I think this is uh, getting close. Perfect. This one in Venice again? Uh, no, this is in a town called Sintometa, I believe it's pronounced. No idea where it is. Uh, Chris, if we could watch Paulson again for this next race, that would be good. You sure? You yeah, want to see the start so. of the race? Well, it's okay. We'll, we'll describe the start of the race, and then the viewers... Uh, why not put yeah. it on Rune? Yeah, sure, let's put it on Rune. Let's put it on Rune. Um, and then the viewers can watch like, we'll uh, to to Rune carve his way through the pack. Let's do it. Oh, my word. Uh, Jamie, predictions? Predictions for this race? Well, obviously, Joe's been a bit... He hasn't been nice there with the with the handicap. And I'm thinking maybe Rune can step up here, although it is only 30-second gaps between him and Paulson. Yeah, but they've been close, you know? If they, have you been just close. they have been close. Keep his head. So we're watching Rune today. So here goes Megan. Away she goes. Um. So and not Chris not really long gaps here behind. at all. And, and oh my word, that's an <laughs> uncrossable wall, isn't it? Yep. <laughs> People already been got by it. Martin. Martin. Just spoil it, Megan. See the stream. Oh wait, no, no, he can't. Can Just he? um, here's the commentary. Correct quickly. Martin into the lead. With Chris in second, Megan in third. Robbie's Robbie making quiet. the same mistake. Rune, Rune also making the same mistake. Maybe. Paulson, you're going to have to make the same mistake for us as well. <laughs> He's <back laughs> I'm like the first successful leg <laughs> that is That has really messed people up there, and it's throwing the standings around big time. Yeah. Oops. So, Rune and Paulson together again. Already. With Robbie Lightfoot in tow. Although, taking different routes already. It hasn't um, even been a minute yet. Or maybe it's been a minute. Rune definitely going the long way around, but I'm not sure how this is going to pan out later on. It might be good. It's definitely less technical, which those uh, those keen watchers know that I'm a big fan of the keep it simple, stupid method. Yeah. Where you take the most simple route and just run really hard. Um, in On this occasion, Rune cannot run any harder than... Uh, <laughs> That's that's the thing you see. Van Paulson and he has lost some time. The only advantage you have with keeping it simple here is that you don't really need to look at your map too much. You yeah. can't run any quicker. 
Again, another difference in route choice between Paulson and Rune. Forest here. Some nice looking forest. I've actually ran on this map before. Is it is it sand dunes? It looks like. Looks. It looks, it looks like nice people. anyway. Nice contour detail. Um, everyone piling on top of each other now because we're all going up a hill and everyone's really slow. Um, Martin in the lead with yeah. uh, Megan, Megan in second and Chris Miller in third. Uh, definitely still somewhat keeping the. Uh, oh no, Rune has taken the lead. Joe is off though, and he's already at number four. Going into the forest already. Oh, Megan is having a mare in the forest. Was not prepared for this, it would seem. Yeah. I was expecting some, some buildings. Rune doing Where really well, though. Has, has, Rune has adapted extremely well to the forest transition and is, uh, has a, a little bit of a lead on Paulson. I think it will be no time at all before they're caught up to Hardly. Martin, but he's staying strong out in front right now. And uh, Yeah, I'm, I'm liking Martin's progress here. Yeah, he's doing well. Good showing from Martin. Yeah. But um, I think his days might be numbered. Uh, I think everyone's days are numbered. Joe Sunley is only two controls behind <laughs> closing them down. Yeah. He's like the Grim Reaper. Oh my word, where did Robbie Lightfoot come from? He was in that group as well. I didn't even realise. Yeah, he's, he's very yellow. Uh, well, for you. For oh, me, for me, oh. <laughs> for you. I can see um, he was yellow. But yeah, Robbie's in there as well. And he... <laughs> Robbie's in second and he's leading this this chasing he's pack. He's leading the pack. I mean, maybe he's what? following there from Rune and Paulson. Yeah, I mean, I. <laughs> uh, wow, <laughs> this was unexpected. Martin having an absolute blinder out in front. Yeah. Um, I'm. But, I'm rooting for Martin right now. Yeah, can he hold on? I mean, the transition. I hope so. From, um, from town to forest, back to town. Now we're going into some now park. It's park. He's handled it perfectly though. Yeah, yeah, just really slow down for the forest. Keeping a cool but head. Neither and, uh, Rune, Paulson and Robbie. That's good. I think they are closing down, but they're not closing down quick. And, and a quick the... check at Joe. He's also on his way to ten. You know the control flow here is what's uh, what's really important. And Martin is. Oh, got it. Yeah, he's, you know, he's keeping, keeping his cool, just staying in the map, playing his game. You know, he's yeah. just doing it his way, and it's working. So one thing I've noticed with Martin from doing the SYO stuff and observing that is he, he is really good at keeping his cool and he hardly ever makes mistakes. He's he's steady Consistent. and he they, they call up. him They call him the, the Rune de Clerc of Yorkshire. Yeah. <laughs> um, Chris Miller Maybe. also, uh, just a little thing, is following Joe Sunley. Oh, that's uh, yeah. <laughs> Shameless. I thought up there. <laughs> <laughs> Shamelessly following. I know where I am. That's the most important. <laughs> um, wow, Martin really doing well, holding his own. Back into another transition though. We've just had some park going back into, um, back into the town. I don't really like this route from, uh, from Robbie going the long way round. That's going to lose him some time. I and think Paulson, if he'd gone right round to the right, that might have been good. Yeah, I think so. But you know, just kind of indecisive. Yeah, in indecisive, but. He is doing a very good job of holding on here. Yeah, absolutely. Keeping up with um, the big boys. Paulson has somehow managed to gain a little bit of a gap here on Rune and Robbie. I don't really know where it came from because I didn't uh, see I any think, big mistakes. Well, I was all focused on Robbie going the other route. I think he might have just pulled away from Rune a bit. Oh, no. What is Martin doing? Oh, no, it's fine. I was looking at the wrong control. He goes the right way. way. That's what he's doing. Martin... And he um, could mate. Oh no, he's been overtaken there by Paulson. Yeah, Paulson. I don't understand how he's closed this gap. He's just turned on the afterburners with two controls and to go. Robbie is front of Rune now. Rune getting stuck in that little bit. No idea what it is, but Robbie has got a lead in in front of Rune, and, and Joe coming through. Can Paulson, Joe make it? Great route into the second last control. Coming into the last control, that was just a masterclass. You know, he he bided his time. He waited, and yeah. then. He struck. Like a, <laughs> like a viper. Martin trying to be cheeky, take the sneaky route round. Is it going to cost him? And it costs him his second place. Robbie playing it fair. Yeah. Gets second. Really Martin good race Robbie there. Rune in fourth. Yeah, a brilliant result from Robbie. Joe Sunley only managing fifth. And Chris Bearing Miller. Bearing in mind, you have a four and a half minute like, break at the start. Yeah, that is true. Um, <laughs> But yeah, great result from Paulson. 
you know, just uh, pulsing. Yes. How did you do it? You know, were you just biding your time? Had you planned ahead? Did you know exactly what was going on, or was it just luck? Mm, I think it was a uh, good execution in the park, just really trying to run the places where I knew uh, the figure would run, would run uh, the fastest and just uh, gaining those few seconds in the relic and then they're uh, trying to pull away when uh, I hit the, the city on the last uh, couple of legs. Well, and, and were you following Robbie at number 10? Uh, no, I plan to control number 9 to go that way around. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's I like this story. Uh, well, I mean, congratulations. It worked out perfectly for you. It was a te textbook victory, in my opinion. I'm a big fan of the follow until three controls from the end and then um, just like have those controls really, really planned out and just like use the pace to get past. Obviously, you don't have the pace to get past on this game because everyone runs at the same pace. So um, just great execution of uh, that final stage into the, um, into, into the, the town again. You know, just had that really planned out down to the down to the minute detail, and uh, yeah, it showed. Uh, Rune, are you there? Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Mate, I'm sorry. You were doing so well, and then right at the end, just control nineteen in the twisty rocks. Yes, yeah, I don't know what that is, but Wilson just got a, a little bit of a, a mark on you, and then it was it was all curtains from there. What happened? Yeah, I thought uh, the console was uh, between the rocks, so um, I was going through the rocks, but uh, obviously it um, didn't work. Well, that's just that's the way it goes. Have you uh, how have you felt about your your races uh, this evening? Uh, well, uh, um, I was always uh, close to it. Uh, but every time uh, that small mistake uh, and Poulsen was gone. Yeah. Yeah, you just you just seem to have have your number tonight. But hey, there's plenty of opportunities in the future to uh, to, to get him back. But yeah, good good performance, good performance this week. Um, Thanks. Joe, thank you very much for planning the courses. No problem. I think uh, I think you put on a really good show tonight. Uh, I'm sorry that we had to handicap you so much, but it was great fun watching you cut your way through the field. Um, and, and yeah uh, Jamie do you have anything to add well other than the first race it doesn't seem to be that many technical difficulties uh, <laughs> yeah that's true <laughs> the stream has great. picked up yeah um, if anyone's still watching <laughs> my dad will be downstairs yeah. that's good fun thanks a lot guys yeah, thank you very much, Marion. Is anyone able to play, plan anything for next week? Crickets. Yeah. <laughs> if, if no one else can, I'm sure I can get my dad to. <laughs> Why not? <you? laughs> yeah, sign him up. I'm not good enough. He will jump at any opportunity to do anything like this. <laughs> I can plan some courses if you want. Oh great! Uh, I would uh, I would uh, like to do it sometime, but I'm just uh, very very busy with the uh, work this next week. But uh, so, some week I will uh, definitely. Uh, I think it's how about everyone brings one course. Yeah, well, the, la the last course I planned has 420 meters of climb on a 5k course. <laughs> What's <laughs> wrong with you? I don't even know. <laughs> I, I, have it. That. I have some uh, some some forests forests from Denmark. We can. Uh, run on at some point uh almost right. done with the conversions so yeah sweet uh chris are we still streaming yeah do you want to say goodbye uh yeah thank goodbye. you very much chris for organizing thank you everyone for joining uh and same time next week yeah bye, Cheers, guys. bye. bye.